Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm feeling a bit pollinated. <laughs> uh, I'm going over to Leicester. Leicester! Uh, I'm gonna, I've always liked, looked at this car boot and always liked the look of it. So now there's no Studley, I'm going to try different car boots and see how they go. Uh, it's an hour away. It's 10 past 5. I might need some fuel. So we'll do that and then head over to Leicester. Not a clue, never been to this one. <laughs> how much is this? Um, I can't remember. Uh, Stephen, how much did you want for the lot, I'd say tenner, Matt. Yeah, it would be home as well, ten. Can you say? Tenner. What size are they? I think they're it. I'm just trying to think what she'd want. Yeah, I think they're a one. One. It's just, you know, isn't it? Thirteen point five. Oh, thirteen and a half. Yeah, I'll take them for a tenner. Yeah, I'll take them. Yeah, okay. Left my wallet in the car. <laughs> Just hold them for a sec. I'll uh, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. I know. I will hopefully today. <sighs> How much are these as well? Five. I'll take them as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Back in a sec. The wallet better be in the car. Ooh. Sorted. How much are these ones? How much are the dragons? Uh, Five this one? Five. Okay. Oh, it's not sitting. Oh, right, no worries, thank you. Are these two pound as well? Then. Yeah, two, two, two pound quid. Pound. Yeah, I'll take that pair, please. How much are the wellies as well? Um, they're four pounds over. Four. Would you do three? And you can just keep the fiver? Uh, I work one else five, so no, yeah. I'm on a bit for those. Uh, 
Okay, I'll, I'll take them for four, then I'll take them for four, but no worries, that's fine. Right, so I owe you a pound, don't I? <laughs> that's the thing, let's see if I've got a pound. Oh, we do. You yeah, got there, there you are. Thanks Thank a lot. <laughs> How much are these, please? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. No worries. If you have a look babe, they're both exactly the same the leads are, but the lead for the iPod is in the box. How much are these, please? They're 20. 20. And how much are these ones? They're 10. 10. 30 quid. We do 25 for both? No. No. No problem. How much are these, please? 15. 15, okay, no worries. Right, car boot number two. How much are those, please? Uh, 15 on it. 15. They're immaculate, come on. Oh. You double, you yeah. triple in your knee. Oh. Wherever you sell it. Go on your earmuffs. Go on your earmuffs. <laughs> Turn them out. So that'd be so 35 for cash then for me. Oh, Excuse me? Do you want your bags out, darling? They should. Yeah, no, no, no. You were sure when she said yeah. <laughs> Could you do 20 on them? Well, whether she's saying yes for that or not. Yeah, same. Do you feel sorry for me? Not everyone else is. Just 30. That's five cows. Thank you. We need the right minutes, Tom, so you don't stand. So you don't give me notes, don't we? How much are these, please? Two pounds. Two pounds. Oh, she 
Oops. And how much are these ones? What ones? Oh, one of five a pair for them. They're brand new, oh. really. Only wore a couple of times. They're little designer ones. Seven for them. Quid. Yeah, I'll take another pair of them. Uh, yeah. I'll just take them too. That's seven quid, though. Yeah. Just that then. And two. There's another pair of them. Look. Oh, you got another one. Uh, and I've left the other seven. one of them in the bloody garage. I thought they were my sons and the nap. Oh, seven. Uh, so what's that? Seven, five, ten. Twelve final to you. Yeah. yeah. Unless you got anything else. I haven't got any change. That, well, I'm still taken out. Yeah, so I'll um, I'll hang around a little bit. All right, yeah. look where that is. It's brand new. It hasn't even been opened. Yeah, it hasn't been opened. How much are these? Well, they're Dunlop ones, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, I don't really know what to ask. Make me an offer on them. Uh, well, round everything up to 15 quid. So that means, so how much are they? 10, so 12? Got... No, it's only three quid you're giving me for yeah. them. No, I wouldn't take three quid for them. I'll take a five, but I wouldn't take three. No. So you... Oh, thank you, love. How much did I say? Well, just give me two quid, love. 15. 50. So I owe you 50p. Yeah. You'll have to come back round to me. Oh, no, here. Oh, there you are. There you go. Right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, darling. How much are these, please? Five. Okay. Yeah, I'll take them. Mm. Yeah, I'm a size four. Thanks. Um, is this the size four? Yeah. I'm just checking now. Uh, five. Uh, how much are these? Um, they they are Tell ten. Yeah. Uh, I'm not afraid. No, nah, I don't know. I don't know it. I'll have to mark to come back then. No worries. Yeah, no worries, Tough. Thanks. Uh, we're back in the shop, obviously. Um, yeah, Leicester. Went to Leicester. So I've always looked at that car boot. The A, they call it the A45. A45 car boot. Um, and I've always thought about going. So I thought, now Studley's gone, it's, the t it's my chance to spread my wings and go to other car boots. Um, the same guy runs Stonely car boot, which is a fantastic car boot in the winter, all indoors. And if it's dry, there's loads of room outdoors. It, it gets packed. And for um, a car boot to get that busy in the winter, it's pretty good. But they haven't, because of COVID, they're hoping to restart that in December, fingers crossed because uh, it is amazing. Anyway, yeah, so travelled an hour. Was it worth it? Mm, no, would I go again? Probably not. Um, not the car boots fault, it's just the rain yesterday it was raining all day. Um, yeah, so there wasn't, a, it was still a decent size, but um, pickups weren't, weren't great didn't get much but then i went to another car boot uh again got a few bits so the haul's not fantastic this week um in other news it just feels like i'm having a 30 round boxing match with ebay 
and you know you're just doing everything you can to get sales I've even resorted to sending offers out which I don't do um, I sent over a thousand offers out and those of you who follow the store or watch my items probably would have got a lot of offers this week um, yeah so I was having a just like 30 pound days 25 pound days I thought I've got, I've got to do something about this so I come out fighting give him a left and give him a right and um sent over a thousand offers out. I'm not I'm not doing a video about it, it's no point. Um you know I just sent offers out and I got some sales. Um and this, it did work. No doubt. I got I had like I ended up on like a four hundred pound day and then the offers are kind of spread out over a couple of days. So then like um it, I think it generates sales in itself just normal sales with no no money taken off um and yeah it's spread into the next day which is done about 250 but again struggled on saturday struggled on saturday i've done like 30 40 pound and then sunday was like a, a decent 150 so yeah some days i'm i'm on there some days i'm on the ropes but we'll, we'll keep fighting anyway as with tradition let's hit with some sales um picked this up recently um remember there was a table full of fantasy kind of gothic figurines and dragons and witches and all that sort of stuff uh well i had an offer somebody asked me if i would accept 15 for this i was like yeah i had it on for 20. um one of the eyes isn't working so so that one works but that one doesn't so they know about that it's one of these sales where you think that it's going to be a problem when they get it's going to like it's going to get there in a thousand pieces or you know just one of these customers that you're going to have problems with next up now this to any normal person i would consider myself normal sometimes doesn't look too much and i've had this for ages didn't think anything of it just looks like a bloody paper health and safety hazard around your light bulb um one day i decided to open it and to my surprise hold on hold on to my surprise it was no an adam and the ant light shade lamp shade um, I thought, oh, that's unusual. Put it on an auction, £20 start. Nothing happened. Didn't get, I think I had a couple of watches, nothing happened. And um, so I thought, I'll oh, forget this. I'll put it on a buy now. And yeah, somebody bought it not long after. So yeah, an Adam and the Ant paper lampshade. It's going off to a super fan, I expect. 20 quid on that thing. Um, yeah, these, these, I've had these in the shop. Got them on eBay, they're in the shop. Uh, the tees but scratch pin badges so someone bought one of them and uh, next up this was a recent well say recent wasn't too long ago i'm not going to get it out because i can't be bothered but it's uh st the snow globe from uh night before christmas no i can't remember night before christmas is that what it is oh my, my head's gone um nightmare before christmas that's what it is yeah snow globe I I think I paid 20 Did I pay 20 for the that and there was a uh, figures maybe 30 we got 40 for this uh, on an offer it wasn't 45 this was sold on an offer so yeah because I sent the offers out I got a 40 pound sale on that next up this I paid a fiver um, and it's a Paw Patrol um, fire engine so the untrained eye just looks like a fire engine, but it is a Paw Patrol one. Just that there. But I think, apart from that, that's the only thing that stands out from being put. Paw Patrol has one a bit on the front there. But yeah, just keep your eye out for these. And the car boots. It's just the vehicle only, so only got 30 quid. But if you had figures and it comes with a little car, basically the more you add with it, the more value you're going to get. So if you've got little figures, you can add more money to that sale, but I just had the car only. Next up, these... Um, these sold once. 
I had a customer asking me a lot of questions about these. Um, just, again, a customer, you know, you're going to have problems with. And there was that many, I blocked her. Funnily enough, an hour later, these were sold to another eBay account. I thought, oh, she's obviously got a friend to buy them. Um, sent out to her, and they didn't fit. And they were returned. So, they're sold again. Yeah, there's a bit of a problem. They just like that in the, in the listing, the mesh. But, you know, you know when you're going for like wolf runs and these sort of mu mu tough mudders and all this sort of stuff, you're not going to buy an expensive pair of trainers. Literally, they're going to get ruined. So that's why I pick up these cheapos, because um, people need just a cheap pair of trainers that they're going to get wrecked. Next up, um, yeah, again, I've had these for a while. I think I paid like a couple of quid. Um, they're a size one, but um, I've got twelve ninety nine for them. Also, these, if you buy anything from the shop from now on, and you put in the notes, you know, you're a subscriber or whatever, you get a free sticker. Well, they're not stickers, they're like vinyl. Um, they're the same on here. It's the same I've put on that. They're like, it's like vinyl stickers. Yeah, I'll send you out a free sticker. It could be, uh, if you... Yeah, it could be anything, any one of these. I'll use these ones first, because these are the best ones. Uh, next up, a big stack of Eurasia singles. So, singles don't sell in the shop. They don't. So, I bundled them together. You would have seen me pick these up. I paid 50 quid for a load of Eurasia stuff, albums, singles. Put these on a starting bid of 40 they sold for 46 and luckily the guy lives in Redditch, which isn't too far away. I might drop him. Um, then some records. Essence, The Promise, Tenth Planet, Walk on Water, Altitude, Altitude. So good, they named it twice. Uh, Todd Terry, Keep on Jumping, which goes something like, Keep on jumping, let your body high. And last but not least, her name is Rio and she dances on the set. £26 for that. I was selling these regularly at 25 so I thought they're going that fast. I put them up to 29 I was, you know, being greedy and all that. They hadn't sold, but this sold on an offer. So 26 I might reduce them to 24 99 which was which was what I was selling them for in the past. So that's that, that's the recent sales, quite a lot. Um, the other problem is this is broken. This is not, ugh. these are flipping expensive. Uh, I paid a hundred pounds second hand um, and you're lucky to get that. It won't connect, it seems like it's working. Um, when it comes to printing, it just shuts down, or just freezes, it just stops. I've tried everything, I've reinstalled the software I've done everything I can. The next step is a sledgehammer. Um, but what I might do is put it on spares and repairs and that money will go towards another one. But if you've got any um, suggestions or recommendations of a label printer um, let's see, that prints these labels, let me know. Um, I've got one more try. I just want to bring it home and, and put it onto uh, my home computer. Hopefully, if that works, then I'm hoping. But yeah, let me know if you've got any suggestions because I might have to buy one. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the haul. Oh, hold on a second. Hello? Oh, YB, how are you? <laughs> cringe, cringe, worthy. Packing right there. Cheers, Barry. Yeah, the, the, the idea of packing is it just gets there in one piece. Doesn't matter how it gets there, as long as it gets there in one piece. So thanks for your feedback. If you could post a video on how you would put, uh, pack pack a Paw Patrol tower, please drop it in the comments below. See you later. Bye bye. Feedback. Um, oh, oh yeah, I forgot about these. Let me just address 
these because I, I left them in the boot for the last haul video. Uh, obviously, these have been uh, chewed by someone or something. Um, I paid a pound. There was a lot of comments saying, my God, I'll be shocked if you get not 25 quid. I'll be shocked if I don't get 25 quid, to be fair. But Adidas hamburgers are expensive. So if someone wants a pair of Adidas hamburgers for 25 pounds, you know, ignore this part, you know, you'll be fine. So watch this space. These will be sold, I'm pretty sure of it. Anyway, um, nice gift set. It was pitch black to start with. But come across these. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, a pair of socks. <laughs> um, so SFRs with helmet, and I think there is some also. Yeah, there's some knee pads and that. So as a gift set for Christmas, I paid a tenner. Um, should be some decent money in there. Um, these were. The second car boot. Um, I was surprised they, still, they were still there as well. Dr. Martins. And they are called Cavendish. 15 quid. But I paid 20 for the Gazelles. Um, and, and the Dr. Martins. So, not bad. Um, these were a fiver, I think. But I think with the black ones, they get more money. The smaller size, anyway, because I always put um, school shoes in the, the, the listing because I've said before, for some reason or other, some schools allow this. My school would be expelled if you went into went in with them. Again, it's, I mean, it's all footwear. What can I say? It's all footwear, but it is what it is. Um, pair of Nike. What are these? Don't know what they are. Well, the pair of cheapos, cheapo running shoes. Estimate twenty quid. Then a nice pair of what are these called? Steel Sherwood Forest Wellies. So I haven't checked the price on any of these yet, but um, yeah, we're in the welly season, so I thought I'd go for them. Um, then these tapes, twenty pence each. Ragged dolls, Andy Pandy, and Rosie and Jim. Um, big thing to check when ch when buying second hand tapes is mould on the uh, reels on the tape reels just check that it's the only thing to check really okay. I have bought them in the past and they've been mouldy but that's my problem more shoes up here what are these these are two quid Umbro Precision Pro are these like football boots indoor football boots AstroTurf I'll do some research but for two quid pretty decent and then these and these, oh, what are they? Boat shoes. They're pretty well made. It's got them like a mad, pretty solid sole. Foo show for, for two shows. What? It's like French, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's a couple of pairs. So she had them. What else did she have? She had something else. But yeah, I didn't. Can't remember what she had. But that's it. That's the haul. Um, yeah, so I'm still in that fight with eBay. Still battling. Seems like it's a battle, and I think there'll be other people out there in, in the, having the same problem. Um, but we're in Q4. Is it Q4? October? Yeah, we're in Q4, October. Let's see if people are holding off for Christmas presents. Is this when it's gonna start, like, you know, really hitting it with the sales? Let's hope so. Uh, but, fashion show coming up.
in the shop, obviously. Um, it's Monday morning. Oh, it... People would travel from Wales. When I used to go there, I used to hear, I've travelled from Wales. Well, not that.